Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are putting a special weapon up to the test against some bosses. We've done it with the Black Hole Pickaxe, we've done it with the Infinity Gauntlet, and now we're doing it with the OP Rainbow Sword. Now, a lot of people have told me about the OP Rainbow Sword mod, and you know, the main things I remember that people told me is that it's called the OP Rainbow Sword mod, and that there's an OP Rainbow Sword in it. So, a lot of information from that. I'm ready to show this thing off and put it up against some bosses as we can see it has a nine what is it nine million i mean zero one zero two zero three zero four zero five and then six seven eight so that's that's like nine nine hundred twenty seven million i can't tell honestly the numbers are messing me up there's no commas in there that's messing me up uh the critical strike chance extremely low though which i feel like you know it doesn't matter honestly it has insanely fast speed insane knockback this is a cheat sword look at the damage yes sir so we're gonna put this sword up against the test you know how it is against a bunch of bosses all right so let us go ahead and just start killing bosses let's start with the king slime obviously oh i'm not in god mode obviously the king slime you know the weakest boss in vanilla terraria let's see if he can withstand the power of the op rainbow sword i doubt it Yes, sir. Looking like a repeat of the Black Hole Pickaxe, but you never know. You never know. The Black Hole Pickaxe did something completely different compared to a sword that one hits. The Black Hole Pickaxe kind of just, you know, deleted the entity, while this sword legit kills them. So we'll see how it works against bosses that have like an anti-kill mechanism. Most of them are from Calamity. So let's go ahead. Let's test this on the Eye Cthulhu next. Get him out of here actually dying we're actually getting the loot which uh shows you that they are indeed dying normally uh, i get not really normally but they're getting hit by like nine million damage and they're dying from it next up the brain of cthulhu let's go ahead i'm gonna try my best brain cthulhu obviously we're, we're not gonna be able to one tap him because of the creepers but there you go now he's dead yeah i'm gonna try my best and speed through a bunch of these bosses because i don't want this video to drag on too long it seems like when i do these like boss killing videos the videos get really long and i start having to cut out a lot during the editing because it gets to like 20 minutes 20 something minutes all right we got the dungeon guardian and skeletron coming up next let's start with the dungeon guardian boom dies in one hit very surprising not really at all and uh we got the burden breaker i i don't even remember that he drops that nice to know all right we're now doing skeletron hopefully you can see let's get rid of his hands first and boom get rid of his head it looks like he's doing more than uh the 900 million damage that it says i think that's 900 million it's either that or it's 9 billion i don't know next up the queen bee see you later bitch and now we are on the wall of flesh i think that's all the vanilla pre-hard mode bosses and there he goes you hate to see it or you love to see it depends on what type of person you are i guess all right we're gonna do three mech bosses at the same time thanks to this item from fargo's mod the mechanical amalgam amalgam whatever you pronounce that word don't use it a lot in my vocabulary vocabulary so don't expect me to know how to pronounce it let's do it boom you're dead next up you're dead yeah. oh he running he running he knows he saw his brother die boom his sister brother whatever the destroyer is just completely not even in this fight dead and they didn't do that thing where like half of his body got deleted he was straight up killed you know we just killed the mech bosses but before i get let's just kill the eater of worlds oh what the heck he's surviving oh my god we have our first survivor not getting insta killed because of his segments unlike the destroyer who died instantly no matter what segment you hit this is this is interesting is it good that i tested it out on him uh, i know i missed him during the black hole pickaxe thing uh because you know i don't know i just didn't want to do him but he, he survived he literally ran away it is golem time now the reason why his face looks like this is because you know i use a cheat sheet to summon him in and he looks weird when you do it i don't know why boom broke his hand boom killed both of his both of his phases in one swing on accident oops plantera is after that i'm assuming this is gonna kill both of her phases unless i like tap once that killed both of her phases even when i tapped once all right we are here at calamity's beautiful and scenic pp ocean to fight duke fishron i don't i'm pretty sure you can't fight duke fishron here i never knew if he enraged here or not it is an ocean it's just p colored you know i always hate killing the uh, lunatic cultist because i don't like the pillars spawning in but uh you know whatever it doesn't matter maybe if we kill him fast enough the pillars won't summon in we killed him i don't think the pillars summoned in i don't know if i have a mod in here that's making the pillar maybe the pillars did summon in oh no i lied they're still summoning i wasn't paying attention all right so uh, i guess we kill the pillars now see if we one tap them this pillar does not have health w what went wrong this pillar also does not help because i installed the mod where it makes them not have shields um and they just don't have health now so yeah I oh okay i just killed an enemy and now it has health get them out of here it is time 
for the Lord of the Moon. I'm gonna hit him in the eye. Okay. This time we can actually hit all his body parts. Come on, open that top eye. Did I hit that top eye? I couldn't tell. There was damage that popped up. Let me hit you in the core. Open your top eye. Do something. Here we go. Boom. Boom. That's it. Four swings, even though I swung the sword like a thousand times. Four swings, and the Moon Lord is dead just like that. Let's move on to the Thorium enemies. Let us get started with the Thorium bosses, starting with the Grand Thunderbird board. Grand Thunderbird, of course. Bye-bye, Grand Thunderbird. May you rest in peace. And your children. I'm sorry for killing your children. Next up after Grand Thunderbird, the Queen Jellyfish. Hopefully she doesn't run away because we're not on the beach. I don't think it matters. Close enough to beach this sand. Next up on the list of deaths, Viscount. He's trying to run. Very smart. I give him props for that. Let's probably set up in a better area to fight him. All right, this should be fine for Viscount. It's underground. Bye-bye. All that running. For what, Viscount? For what? You're dead. You no, know, since we're in a granite biome, the granite energy storm only makes sense to fight. And also, while we're down here, you know, it's not a marble biome. You know, kill kill the buried champion real quick before he gets to run away. All right, we are on the final boss from the uh, pre-hard mode section of Thorium, the Star Scouter. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. But there you go. Let's move on to the hard mode Thorium bosses. Starting with the Lich, which is like the third or fourth boss in the hard mode of Thorium, but you know, you, we're up here on the surface, might as well do it because we're also gonna fight the Borean Strider while we're up here. Get him out of here! Oh, he survived the hit! He survived the hit! He has one, literally one health. I'm frozen. All right, it's dead, but that's that's another one that kind of survived. I, I put that up there with the Eater Worlds. Here we are with Cosmix. He's got a bumping soundtrack, but he. Uh, he's gonna die either way bumping soundtrack or not see you later both of his faces dead in one swing all right we are at the pp ocean i don't know if we can fight abyssion in this ocean uh we're gonna try anyways i don't think it's gonna matter oh no he's enraged but i don't think it's gonna matter like i said boom oh he went to the one health i don't know if that's like a damage cap thing or what but he went to one health he's firing bullets at me right now calm down this is terraria not a bullet hell game last but not least from thorium the Doomsayer coin which spawns in Ragnarok and uh, let's see how this works here boom dead another one dead the real question is what am I killing there's a bubble I'm supposed to be killing. there we go the real question is oh yeah dying reality is here dying is reality dying reality is here unlike the uh, black hole pickaxe which isn't something at all and there you go Ragnarok dead we get a nice beautiful light show at the end so now before we move on to a calamity let's knock out some of the more obscure bosses not really obscure but Consolaria and maybe some juice mob bosses very interesting i don't know if it'll be on camera but akram when i swung at him literally froze my game let's do it again come down here yeah he like freezes the game when you hit him with that sword very interesting but he still gets one tap ew these things are nasty looking what the heck all right next up we got turkor he's a he's a big turkey will he survive the sword no and last but not leapus get it that was a good pun right leapus oh my god leapus is so tiny i always forget how tiny leapus is all right see you later all right so we are testing the uh, calamity bosses now starting with the desert scourge get them out of here next up we got the most peaceful crab there is crabulon he's dead now all right so we're taking on the perforator now i don't know if we're gonna see the multiple phases from it if i one tap it oh game is frozen when i try to one tap it still frozen did the game crash does calamity oh there we go i was about to say does calamity have such a strong damage cap that it will crash your game when you try to one shot a boss the answer is no it doesn't at least well i don't know actually all right here we are we got the hive mine here He's, he's just gonna R.I.P. in one swing. So get a nice look at him. He's making a nice little cameo. Same thing with the Eater of Worlds. He's, you, know, gotta, you gotta bring in the corruption bosses. Oh. I thought he was trying to run away. Get him out of here. Oh, damn. He went into the second phase. Okay. I see you, Hive Mind. The game freezes again. Yet again. From trying to kill a Calamity boss with this OP Rainbow Sword mod. And uh, I don't know. It's getting kind of it's getting kind of sus. Getting kind of weird what's going on here with the Calamity in this mod. I mean, it happened with, with Akram. The little freeze. So uh, I guess we'll see as we get deeper into the bosses. All right. Next, we got the uh, Slime God and his two uh, friends. I don't know. Hey, can you stop giving me that debuff, please? Boom. Okay. I keep on getting hit with this debuff. Boom. Dead. There's no multiple phases for the slimes. You two, you're out of here. And of course, 
last but not least, the slime god himself. Starting off with the hard mode calamity bosses, we got crowd gens, everyone's favorite icicle i don't know is dead now all right we have the aquatic scourge up next um this dude's kind of weird he's like a boss and he isn't a boss at the same time let me hit him does that make him angry does he turn into a boss randomly when i hit him i don't know whatever he's dead now okay we got the brimstone elemental here for her short cameo she's trying to run away i'm not allowing that here we go we got the astro mars here we got a, the permafrost i don't know what the name of this npc is i know it's from calamity but he's fighting back is what you like to see. This is a really cool looking boss. Too bad he has to die. We got the Ashram Days here. I don't know if I summoned it in right because there's only one of them. I think there's supposed to be multiple, so let me try again. Here we go. This looks about right. Now, the question is... Um, <laughs> I killed one of them. Was that the correct one? Maybe that was the main one? I don't know. I killed it and all the other ones ran off. It was pretty scary. Next up, we got Cal here. Everybody's favorite boss. Come here trying to run from me no other phases will be seen just insta killed before another phase can activate on to the next all right we have the beautiful siren and the not so beautiful leviathan i'm sorry leviathan it's just true honestly the siren all right so we're finishing up with our last two bosses here the plague ringer goliath boom and the ravager which this boss you know he showed a little resistance last time can i take off like a piece of him oh took off his hand come on bring swing something else take off his other hand can I kill that drill? No? Can I kill anything else before I kill you? I don't know. Oh, there we go. We took off another piece of him. Another piece. Oh my god. He did take a couple of swings to the actual body. So he, he put up a little resistance. I, I don't know if I would call him a survivor, but he put up some resistance. Moving on to our first post Moon Lord Calamity bosses. The Profane Guardians. This should be pretty quick. Damn, they got destroyed. And now we are moving on to Providence herself. Come over here. You might hear shout sirens in the background. There's always loud noises when I try to record. God knows why. I hope whatever the sirens are for, the people are alright. Get out of here. You're not alright though. We got Burb here. We got a live Burb here. And now we got dead Burb here. Alright, we are doing Poltergast. Now, I didn't test this with uh, Plantera. Can I hit the, hit the hooks? I don't think I can. I don't, I don't think they have health. They're just hooks. They're kind of like the fireball i don't know can you break a or the fire wheel can you break that i feel like there's a way to break a fire wheel whatever just 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 kill him r.i.p poltergeist you never stood a chance all right now we're gonna take on the guardians the, the sentinels the devourer sentinels something like that we got ceaseless void here um kind of standing a chance i don't remember how to fight ceaseless void I also summoned it in a completely different way. Was that like a damage cap thing? Why did it push me? Look at it. It's pushing me. Don't push me, bro. No, I'm getting in my bubble, so you can't push me. Oh, here we go. You got to break these things. And Okay, this is uh, kind of interesting, This how this fight is going. But we do one-shot the, the little like orbs that shoots out. Is this how this fight usually goes? <laughs> I don't remember. Like I said, I, I don't really use Plan B too often anymore. Uh, besides, you know, this like default mod pack that I use. And there you go. It's dead. It took a lot of swings. That, that's I'll, I'll put that up there as a survivor. That, that was pretty. That was a pretty good showing. We got our main man here, main entity, whatever the hell this thing is, Cygnus the Devourer. Bye bye. You can devour this sword down your throat. No homo. I think. And the last devourer, the Storm Weaver, which is taking a sweet time to die. Oh, hold up. He got a little defense. We hit him for like 9 million a couple of times. Let me try and hit him right in the head. See if that kills him or not. No. He, oh, there you go. He died that time. What about, the, what about this phase? That was extremely interesting because I had no idea what the hell was going on that whole time. We are taking on Dog. He's still spawning here. Let me see if I can just, you know hit him in the tail oh man he might be our first like full resistance with the damage cap i don't know you know i definitely expected him to be but he straight up is not taking damage i'm going for that tail he's telling me that i'm bad at dodging i'm in god mode dickhead shut up bring that head over here i'm going for the tail usually you can hit him in the tail i think what about the head nah he is straight up not taking damage we might have our first survivor here like legit survivor well i don't know we've had a couple legit survivors you know living with one one health after a swing i think that's surviving but look at this he is taking nothing so since we can't really hit him i think it would be smart if we tried his second form all right here we go second form let's see if this is different not taking body damage i don't remember if he takes body damage in his form or not going for the tail completely missed the tail it was unraveling so it made me miss boom nothing all right bring the tail then 
bring the tail we got a beeline for the tail or the tail is beelining towards me and nothing for the tail either so it seems like dog you cannot one tap uh because calamity is anti-fun am i right here we are darn it do you also have a one tap damage cap we're about to find out we are about to find out bring bring your ass over here okay i don't know what i hit he isn't taking damage he's doing straight zeros so we do have another survivor here before we go and take on supreme cal we obviously have to check out the adult eidolon worm and just see if the rainbow sword is capable i don't think he's capable man this thing has a damage cap really the eidolon worm has a damage cap what the heck that's that's pretty surprising honestly did not expect that you live this time Eidolon it is the time that we have been waiting for the finale of the episode I know I didn't show juice mod bosses or blue magic bosses we might save the blue magic bosses for a completely different video where I show off you know the black hole pickaxe infinity gauntlet and the op rainbow sword all at once against blue magic bosses we'll see because like i said i have to actually fight blue magic bosses to unlock the other ones because you can't just cheat them in and i don't really feel like doing that right now so let's go ahead let's take on supreme cow and let's see if the rainbow sword can kill her so we're just gonna you know play this out with this first phase specifically until we get attacked um now originally in the black hole pickaxe video the clip where i killed supreme cow she died she died and the clip was not included i don't know how it just vanished from existence it straight up just vanished from existence i really don't know how that clip didn't make it into the video but uh as you can see we're doing like absolutely no damage to the sepulchre Se sepulchre however you say his name cal though let's see the damage on cal i'm getting nothing do i have to do something here i don't remember how to fight this boss i have to do this all right let's break these balls okay and then we should be able to actually fight cal right yes sir okay i'm gonna hit her with a move right here Ooh. you gotta dash at me please dash at me please come down here dash at me is doing zero damage is looking like supreme cal is also going to survive our barrage of death with a rainbow sword so the last couple of calamity bosses and even the island worm has defeated me with their damage caps i i'm having troubles hitting cal if i'm being honest the, the lack of dashing towards me makes it harder but yeah that's looking like that's gonna end this video off we have seen the damage that the rainbow sword can do and the damage that it can't do specifically to these post moon lord bosses but i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and also follow my twitter twitch join my discord and also subscribe to my second youtube channel moderators 101 where i post my twitch live streams i will see y'all next time bye bye